it's November. We made it. We did it. Another month. Does anybody, I mean, no one's going to work. So kind of the bummer, when you guys go back to the office, you're going to still have March on your uh, desk blotter calendar. Weird, right? Uh, it's November. Hi, I'm Jason DeRussia, your friendly newsman. Uh, today, here on the CBSM Minnesota Daybreaker, we've got nice weather for you. Look at this. Above average. Just like all of you guys, you people are above average. Yep, I'm talking to you right there on the Facebook. Uh, beautiful day, 53, sunny. Tomorrow's going to be even better, a little warmer. We might hit 70 degrees on Friday. So if you're thinking about one last visit to a patio, a restaurant patio, just make those reservations. This is the week for you, right? And make a reservation to go vote tomorrow, Election Day is almost here. What political ad are you going to miss the most? That's really what we should have asked in our talker question. I, a lot of people are saying that they're stressed. I saw a, a Harris poll for the American Psychi uh, uh, Psychiatric Association, I think, that said 70% of American adults say the election is a significant source of stress. 70%. In 2016, before the election, that was like 52%. So where are you at? Scale of one to five. One means super chill. Five means you are freaked out, super stressed. So tell us why. One to five, rank your anxiety, your stress. It's going to be all right. We're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. America's going to be fine. Leave a comment on Facebook, and uh, we'll share through uh, some of that in just a minute. Those presidential candidates are focused on swing states. Coronavirus still domin dominating much of the conversation. Joe Biden yesterday in Pennsylvania, and he said the country can't recover from coronavirus with President Trump in office. To beat the virus, we first got to beat Donald Trump. He's the virus. One of those kind of drive-in rallies that they're doing to try to stay uh, uh, COVID-friendly. President Trump in Miami, huge crowd. The president said Joe Biden will ruin the economy. He also suggested that he might fire Dr. Anthony Fauci after the election. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. You hear the crowd there chanting fire Fauci? I appreciate <laughs> okay, President Trump also said that he uh, wants the vote counting to stop on Election Day, which is something that has never happened. Like, uh, votes are still counted coming forward. They just often don't matter because the margin of victory is big for one person or the other. We'll see what happens. This stuff always goes, you know, that's the thing to keep perspective. A lot of this stuff always happens. There are always disputes about absentee ballots, eligibility, whether a vote was in on time. So just remember, we have been here before and our experts know how to get through it. It is the last day for early voting here in Minnesota. So you're going to do it today or you're going to do it tomorrow. We did see uh, some long lines and the lines are a little deceiving because there's social distancing happening in lines and there's limited capacity inside. But some people were reporting waiting an hour, hour and a half, two hours yesterday. Uh, if you have a mail in ballot, don't put it in the mail. That court ruling last week at least throws that in jeopardy as to what will happen with mail in ballots that come after the election. So you have to drop it off by 3 p.m. tomorrow. All ballots need to be received by 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So you can hand deliver those ballots. That's a smart move. You could just say, forget about this uh, early ballot. I'm just going to go and vote in person. No problem. And you also can go vote on election day tomorrow. Your polling location may have changed because of COVID. Um, you know, in the city of Minneapolis, for example, there are fewer uh, locations. So go check online, wccocom slash election guide. Minnesota is coming off one of its worst weeks for positive COVID cases. Yes, there's more testing, but not this much more testing. We broke a record of more than 3,000 cases in one day. So now we're over 153,000 statewide. Uh, that does have some wondering if another stay at home order is in our future. We talked with a former Obama administration health care official 
who lives in Minnesota, and he says a full shutdown is not necessary because we've learned more. Some businesses can operate safely with sp people spread out, while well, in his view, others uh, cannot. It is closing time for a popular Minneapolis beer hall, Surly Brewing. Uh, decided to shut it down on Friday and then spend the weekend cleaning. Staff will be on site today. They're on payroll until today to deep clean and winterize the space. Surly says uh, they ran the numbers and they looked at one month of earnings with limited capacity over the summer and they just felt they were losing way too much money. So they're closing the beer hall. Surly will keep brewing. Surly beer will still be available at liquor stores and at other bars, but you just can't go uh, to that beautiful destination brewery, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. They have not announced whether or not they will reopen it up. The BBC and Sun newspaper are both reporting that Prince William tested positive for COVID-19. Way back in April, they cite palace sources and an observer. Mm. The observer says... Sun reports that Prince William kept his diagnosis a secret, didn't want to freak out the, comp the country. It was apparently around the same time his father had it. Prince Charles had mild symptoms reported, uh, and that was back in March. Actor Johnny Depp lost his libel suit against the owner of The Sun. They, may, they accused him of being a wife beater. Depp was suing the newspaper over that story in 2018, claiming that he was violent and abusive to his then wife, Amber Heard. This morning, a London judge ruled in the publisher's favor, saying uh, they had shown what they published was substantially true. So that'll, that'll have you losing a libel lesson. Why would you sue? Very strange. We've made it to November. Okay, we did it. And you know what? The first day of November means. It's time. Yeah! I don't want a lot for Christmas. Mariah. Mariah Carey. She is the queen of Christmas, isn't she? Kind of getting a jump start on the holidays. You saw the, the graphic there. Let's get through Thanksgiving first. I don't know. I feel like I always wait till after Thanksgiving, but this year, if you need some joy in your life and you want to start celebrating Christmas now, do it. Like, who cares, right? Ah, just do whatever brings you joy this time of this year for sure. Let's get back to our talker today. We're rating your anxiety. One to five. How stressed are you? Leanne is a three. Life will go on. We've been here before to a degree. She's just tired of the ads arguing commercials intensity and division. Leanne, I'm going to miss the ads. I love them. I love a political ad. I love a negative ad. I love an ad that's totally out of context. I assume they're all lying, but uh, I wish I were one of those voiceover guys. Colin Peterson. <laughs> Automotive mileage. <laughs> That's probably my favorite, that guy. Uh, Jill's at a five. Nothing else to say. She's a level five. Katie, pretty low. One or zero. Katie keeping it chill. Very nice. Uh, Pam is just a little, she'd say two. Get stressed seeing posts on Facebook with people arguing. That's kind of where I'm at, Pam. I'm at about a two. Remy, five plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of friends who are five plus. Mike is a four. Mike wants change and hope. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I get it. I get it. It's going to be all right, though. I don't know. I, I said this before on the show this morning, but I think Election Day and voting is the ultimate expression of hope. So go vote. Go vote. It says, I believe in the future. I believe in this country, and I believe that my vote does matter, my voice matters, So, and I, I believe it does. So cast your votes, your votes and your votes. If you have a vote, cast that. If you have a vote, cast it once. I grew up in Chicago, you only get to vote once. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here on Election Day tomorrow morning.